while, but I definitely love talking video games and I want to discuss it with you guys. So this is going to be fun. I usually do movie reviews on this channel. I usually talk movies, but I finally get to talk about my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Now this list obviously switches around quite a bit when it comes to video games because as I play more, as I replay stuff, a lot of this kind of just fits into how I grew up and what games I really touched on, guys. So this is going to be a fun list, guys. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your top 10 favorite video games of all time were. What are some that I didn't mention that you guys want to hear me talk about? Let's discuss it down below, guys. And as well, hit that like and subscribe button. If you enjoy geeky lists like this, trailer reactions, and of course, early movie reviews, I do it all the time on this channel, guys. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. And of course, let's get started. down at my number 10 is the spider-man ps4 game now i kind of debated on putting this one in there but this is one of the if not my favorite superhero game ever created i know i know a lot of you guys are saying what about batman i love the batman arkham games but there's something about spider-man that actually had me playing this game more even after i'd beaten it and it takes a lot once i beat a story typically in a game i stop playing it completely just because time constraints and all that sort of stuff i don't have a lot of time to play video games I, before i used to but now when i play games it, it takes a lot for me to really beat it i'm still even playing death stranding um still playing resident evil 2 i mean there's so many games i've started and just haven't been able to stay with spider-man was the last game that i actually set well probably kingdom hearts 3 but spider-man really was the last game i played sat down beat it played it again beat it again and then went through all the add-ons and even furthermore into the world. And I just like swinging around in the world, fighting crime and really getting 100% on the trophies. There's something in that whole entirety that has hooked me into the what I love about Spider-Man. It, it fit the embodiment of Spider-Man. I think the only complaint I have with this is some of the boss battles were a little bit repetitive. But that's something that I feel like a lot of these superhero kind of villains kind of get to. But this is everything I wanted from the game and i was so blown away with it i was so worried with it but i came out just in love with it and emotionally and wrapped into it i cannot wait to see the sequel that an insomniac has because my god i'm all into this world now and coming to my number nine is going to be kingdom hearts 2 my favorite kingdom hearts game which is actually i feel like a lot of people think three and one are better i 100 disagree i think two is the best one whether it is a little confusing when it comes down to the story it's always confusing when it comes to kingdom hearts there's something with the battle system there's something with the sidekicks the characters the rpg elements were all i felt stronger in kingdom hearts 2 really i think the only thing kingdom hearts 3 has a leg up on kingdom hearts 2 is some of the action sequences with the gameplay and of course within the graphics department but kingdom hearts 2 still holds up to today yes the camera's a little wonky but the story holds up the areas you go to hold up the bosses hold up this is one of those games that has always attracted me to it and it's one of the most replayed games in my whole life i love kingdom hearts and when it comes to them I'll always take the good the bad and the ugly with it but 2 is one that has solidified itself as one of my favorite games of all time because of how much I can replay it and in general how much I love it. And coming up my number 8 is what introduced me to the world of Fallout and that is Fallout 3. Now I almost put Skyrim in here, but Fallout 3, I probably have a solid almost 600 to 700 hours in this game. I got it the first day and I still play it to this day. I love replaying the game. I love going through different modes, doing different karma types issues. And it's the one that really hooked me. While I love New Vegas as well, and 4 was fun for sure. And Fallout 76, I think it's gotten better. I wouldn't say it's great or anything, but it's gotten better. I just don't really urge to play it again. I don't have that much time. And especially when a game doesn't have a story that can progress me to go forward. I don't care about it. Fallout, though, Fallout New Vegas, or not Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 3 has really stuck with me, though, when it comes to its RPG elements, the world, um, the grim world. I mean, I just love walking around a post-apocalyptic, and it made me feel like I was in that post-apocalyptic Post apocalyptic world. Damn, I can't talk today. But it's intense. It's enthralling. Um, I really like the story with the whole thing that kind of happens of you growing up as a baby and having to go find your father. I love the karma elements. I like the choices you can make in here and really how many different things you can play around in this world. The engine has a lot of bugs, but I think what they did with the AI in this game is one of my favorite things. And in general, Fallout 3, I just have many different memories with, and it's one of the games that I always like to go back to and play. And coming up at number seven is going to be Uncharted 2. God damn what this is. And I could have easily put almost any Uncharted game in here. I almost put three. I almost put three. But two opens up to be one of the most dynamic, one of the most enthralling, and one of the most intense experiences I've ever felt during a game. It felt like Indiana Jones, but with maybe higher stakes. 
And that's something that I can definitely jump into this and say. I think Nathan Drake is an incredible character, and what they kind of go between one and two and how they progress the characters was wonderful. While I, the only big issue I have with this game is there's less Sully, which is why I almost picked three, because I think the father-son development in three was fantastic. There's just something about two that's always attached me to it and the way that I can replay that game any single time of the day and all the memorable moments you can have in here. If you've never played an Uncharted game, you should. And coming up at number six is going to be Red Dead Redemption. One, not Red Dead Revolver, not Red Dead Redemption 2, one. Uh, pure nostalgia on this one. Uh, I, I, I would go as far as to say I think 2 has a better story overall. I think 2 has better graphics, of course. But I think 1 has a better gameplay mechanics. I think 2 is a little bit, it's a little too realistic. But 1, there's something about it that the simplicity of being a cowboy in this world and whatever you can do um the story with john marston was wonderful uh i loved how it progressed throughout the story and i love what rockstar was able to do to make you feel i actually have a funny story with this game is i was huge in the gta 4 uh really dying to play 5 but i heard this red dead redemption game was coming out and i'm like I don't know if I want to pick up a cowboy open world game. My dad ended up picking it up and I watched him. I'm like, holy crap, this is awesome. Next day, I went and traded in like almost every game I had to buy the game from GameStop. And it, I played the shit out of it. Um, funny thing is my dad actually never even beat the game. So I don't even know why I bought it for my Xbox one. We had a PS3 as well. One play with my friends, of course. But it became one of my favorite games of all time through that. And I love replaying this game. Um, and then the online, I just, I have so many memorable experiences with my friends. Um that I might actually discuss on a podcast later on, kind of going into stories of wh why my Xbox Live name is, uh, what it is to that, and there's just so many memorable experiences into that, and I just really appreciate what they were able to do with Red Dead Redemption, and the online was just so simple, but so fun. All right, get to my top five, guys. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your top 10 favorite video games of all time are. And of course, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well if you guys are new here and enjoy early movie reviews or in general, just me talking geeky content. I do it over here all the time. Make sure to head over to Sam Shun Films as well down below as well on how to see films early. And of course, just a big thank you to you and a big thank you to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. And of course, you guys know me with my top 10 list. I usually have some honorable mentions. So we got some honorable mentions here today. <clears throat> God of War, the new one, I thought was phenomenal. Uh, Halo 2 is still my favorite Halo to date, or Halo Reach. Twilight Princess, my favorite Legend of Zelda game. Injustice, Gods Among Us 2. Love 2, I played the shit out of that game. Uh, Smash Brothers, uh, the newest one, I think is the most balanced and perfected Smash Brothers game yet. Modern Warfare 2 is the first first-person shooter that really locked me into a game besides Halo. But when it comes down to these military shooters, I'm never really a big fan of them until this one. Uh, Pokemon Silver is my favorite Pokemon game to date. And of course, I want to give a shout out to Alan Wake, which is one of the best sci-fi horror, uh, would it be sci-fi? One of the best horror games ever made. Even Dead Space 2 should be up there too. So yeah, I'm going to also throw in Dead Space 2. And of course, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, just all games you need in those lists. Down to my number five is going to be Diablo 2. Now, I've been a major fan of Diablo. I mentioned in my last previous video when I talked about the top 10 video game movies that I want a Diablo movie so fucking bad. I really want one like now but diablo 2 is definitely one that has stuck with me i have so many great memories playing with my dad and playing endless hours and creating characters going to the cow world if you don't know what the cow world is just look it up it's utterly insane no pun intended on that part well kind of a pun intended i just didn't mean to say it but now it is a pun and it works for that <laughs> This is just a game that I've never cared about the story, really. The, the world's cool. The demons are awesome. I can't wait for Diablo 4. I like Diablo 3. Diablo 1 was cool, but Diablo 2 was the one. And nostalgia kicked in. The cow world, the dynamics, the RPG elements, the characters, the classes. Everything always locked me into what Diablo was. And I just, I'm a major fan of Diablo 2. And coming up at number 4 is Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite. Now, I had to put these two together. I, I really love the Bioshock world, and it was hard for me to choose one or the other, but I feel like these two are kind of connected in a weird way where it's hard for me to say one without the other now after playing both of them. Um, This is one that I love the characters, the worlds. It's a game I love showing people. I love replaying. The Big Daddy is one of my favorite character things that you could have in a game, and this is one of the most unique worlds that has ever been placed into a video game. I know they announced that they are making a new one, I'm very nervous about it, but at the same time, I'm also pretty excited about it. All I can do is fingers crossed and hope it's the best game I can possibly play, but this is one of those games that if you've never played Bioshock, I, I, it's hard for me to talk about without getting into spoilers because there's so many damn dynamics that I don't want to talk about, whether it's the twists and turns that both games take within the, the last like three hours of the game that really change everything. And really, every time you play the game, it changes how you replay it. 
Um, I just, I love the games. I, it's hard for me. This is, this is the hard one to talk about. Damn, because I don't want to spoil it for you guys who've never played it. So definitely go play Bioshock. And coming in at my number three is Gears of War 3. Uh, this is probably my favorite video game franchise of all time is the Gears of War. Even though four and five have disappointed me in the multiplayer department, I think three is the best iteration of the multiplayer and also the best story so far in Gears of War. It felt satisfying. It felt like the epic conclusion that I wanted from the Gears of War saga. All at the same time, providing me with an awesome online experience that I put so many hours into, I could not even possibly tell you. I had every single thing unlocked. I loved playing it. And while there wasn't a lot to unlock, it was always to be the best and always keep upping the ante in there and just really revving the chainsaw, double barrel shotgun the nasher whatever you want to say there's something about gears of war 3 that always hit me in the soft spot especially during the story goddamn dom I'll, I'll leave it there um pretty emotional experience in there if you've never played gears of war game definitely play the whole series and get up to three and you'll understand why i love it and coming to my number two is the game that actually made me love this franchise and that is mass effect 2 i thought mass effect 1 was okay i thought it was decent but mass effect 2 kicked it in the overdrive and made me love every single character fall in love with every single character um make me want to keep replaying the game to keep every character alive get the best ending possible and then go into mass effect 3 with the best crew and best experience that i possibly could and i even like mass effect 3 i like liked it a lot i just there's something about two that made me want to replay it so many damn times i've played this one probably almost 15 to 20 times love going through it love going through the missions love the combat in here um andromeda was such shit and i really hope the mass effect franchise can eventually get to that perspective of how great two and even three were uh, coming up my number one is going to be the last of us you know there's not much more i can say about the last of us but just how perfect it is this is a game that Kind of at this point, I was kind of done with the zombie franchise stuff. I was like, eh, I'm kind of done with it. Saw all the acclaim it was getting the first day, went and picked it up first day, um, and sat down in one sitting and beat the game. It's probably the only time I've ever actually done that in a video game series, but I did it. I did it, and I never wanted to stop playing. It's one of the games that I've gone through every single difficulty. I've done every single possible thing you could possibly do in it, and Last of Us 2 is looking to be one of the games that I definitely can't wait to play i i really cannot wait to play it and i'm probably going to take off like two days to play it just so i can beat it and sit down and be done with it because it's a story i've been waiting to see how they're going to handle it and um it's just it's so fucking good it's so good i call i apologize when i cuss but i'm so passionate about the last of us and how wonderful of a game it is and it's just one of the best games ever created it's emotional it's tragic it's greatly made, and Naughty Dog just seriously upped the ante on this one. That's going to be my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this. If you guys enjoyed this list, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite video games are down below. I did miss some in my honorable mentions, so I do want to mention them real fast. Of course, The Witcher 3 and Left 4 Dead are some of my favorite video games of all time as well. I love replaying those as well. Thank you guys again so much for clicking on this, though. I hope to see you guys soon. So until next time, stay classy.